Alright, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna label my arguments. So I know R5 4 array. Output array. Sum. Index. Okay. Now, just copy paste and build up and tear down code. And so, what about local variables? So I count two local variables. There's cumulus sum and there's new index. So, I'll, there's one default local variable spot, the R5 oxy zero. I'll assign cumulus sub to that. But we need one more spot for our new index. So how can I allocate that? Changes minus five to minus six. It's gonna give us an extra spot, R5 minus one. If we wanted another spot, we could change to seven and get another spot at R5 minus two, but we only need two slots, so six. This is going to be index. Or no, new index, yep. Okay, so right now we're ready to start showing line by line. That's great, man. So I get index in one register, and then length in another register. I need to not length, and then it gets it. Um, basically, I'm looking for this. Everything needs to be comparison zero, so I'm going to convert it to this. Not one on one. one. And then by two's column into length. We'll add index and length together. And branch on, the opposite of greater than or equal to is less than, which is negative. Uh, and then. Okay. Inside our, now we're in our body. Have a return. Um, so that's going to be branch to tear down. We don't have to return anything. Uh, usually when you return, you return something. And in that case, that's store into R5 plus 3, but there's nothing returns from just branch to tear down. Okay. Now we'll go here. So I'll get sum in one register. So sum is in R5 7. And we get array plus index in another register. So 1, so array 4. I'll have to get an index in another register because I add it with array. Index is 8. I'll add the 2. So now we have the address of this value. We turn that address into we turn, have, we turn that address into a value by loading it into itself. Now we've converted the address to the actual stuff at the address. And then now we can add 0, 0, 1. So now we have sum plus array index. And we store that in cumulative sum. Cumulative sum is at R5 opposite 0. So we'll just store at R0 into R5 opposite 0. Okay. Alright, we're done. And notice that every line of code I have a clean slate with my registers. Like I'm not worried about overriding any registers because um, the registers don't have anything important. It's all stuff important is stored on the stack and in memory. Alright. So so output array index. So this will probably get the address of output array index by just adding them. We'll start with that. So we'll start zero five. Output array is five plus five. And now we will be our index. R five plus eight. Add them together. So now I have the address of this. Now we need to get another register. We need to get cumulative sum. So which is at R five offset zero. Great, now I'm going to store that into um, this address that we calculated. All right. Okay, now new index one, so we got index, which is R58, add with one, store it right back into new index, which is we said we decided it was going to be R5 minus one, so we'll store that into R5 minus one, and we're good, yeah. Now we have this scary function. That's fine. So the way I do it is I first adjust the pointer. So how much I gotta adjust the stack pointer by? Well, one, two, three, four, five arguments, so minus five. And the first argument should be top of the stack, which is opposite zero. So load array. Um, R zero, five, four. We'll load array and then we'll store that at the top of the stack. Now below the top of the stack, right below should be output array. So we'll load r zero five five. We'll store that 
right below the dark ray, so plus one. I'll load lead. Store that. Below, um, should be. I, I like I like this way because it's it's more sequential order. So if you adjust the pointer first, then the first parameter should be pushed at opposite zero. The second one should be pushed at opposite one. Third way should be pushed opposite zero. Or, but you could manually do one by one pushing in reverse order. But I think this way is faster and more elegant, so that's why I do it. Anyway, keep going. I need to push cumulative sum, so. Um, cumulative sum is an R5 offset 0. And we want to store that at 3. And now we need a low new index, which is an R5 negative 1, as we stated here. Store that. Explore, so we need to separate this to make it a little more readable. Alright, so, yep, now we have to chase R, cumulative sum, and then looks like we don't grab a return value at all, so we don't have to do any loading. We do have to pop off um, our arguments, though, and the return value. So, even though there is no return value, there is a space uh, allocated for it, so. It's kind of like an unallocated space, but the return value spot is still there, and we still want to pop that off. So we push five arguments, we still want to pop off six, all right? And that should be it.